Hi everyone, I am Master Hope and I'm coming to you with my Fitness Protection Connection program. What are we going to work on today that's going to connect our fitness into our self-protection, okay? Well, uh, we got some, we got some uh, balls here. Today we're going to grow a pair or two. Um, I don't know if I can say that on video. But anyway, we have, we're going to be working with our medicine balls, our um, stability balls, and with some of our other uh, weighted balls here, okay? So, how is this going to help us? Well, it's going to help tone and tighten, but not just that, but some of the motions that we're going to be doing also will help with the motions that are needed for certain types of self-defense techniques, okay? So, let's get to it. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and uh, subscribe and share with your friends, okay? Uh, okay, so... So what I am sitting on right now, let me introduce you to your uh, stability ball chair. Now, a lot of uh, workplaces are actually doing these at work, okay? This one has rollers, which is nice. It's a chair with rollers, okay? So, but um, they're, they're good for fitness, you know, bounce, bounce, right? Okay, so this will actually help you to bounce up into action and doing squats, okay? So, as you're doing squats, this will help keep your feet in alignment and the knees in alignment with the ankles, all right? So, we can just start off with some warm-ups and it's kind of fun. You just bounce, make sure that the chair is <laughs> behind you. <laughs> that you don't bounce forward, okay? But straight up and down, good, just like that. Now you can use a regular uh, stability ball too, but for uh, something else I'm gonna show you to work those abs as well, okay? So we just come up, there you go. Now, how are your feet? You can do duck feet to work the inner thighs here, uh, but doing these kind of squats will really help uh, tighten up those thigh muscles and the glutes, okay? Push those hips slightly forward, squeezing the glutes up and down. Now, if you don't have one of these, uh, you can use a chair that will work, but just make sure that it's stable and that um, you, you're gonna get the same motion out of it, okay? All right, so that's really good for jumping up, kick is their next one, okay? So, what are we gonna do? So say, for instance, your reaction time, somebody, you happen to be sitting down. I mean, it's not always all the time you're gonna be up and about on the street in the dark alley waiting for somebody to attack you, okay? Um, workplace violence actually um, is on the increase. Um, so, this is, it would be a good time to actually practice some of these things from a sitting position, okay? Um, so you're here, say you're at a desk, okay, or not even at a desk, uh, just sitting talking to somebody and say this person gets, um, you know, hostile towards you, okay. So you're just going to do your squat down and then kick. You got the, got the bounce, so it kind of just helps to get your reaction time a little bit better with your front kick. So squat down, tap, and kick. Squat, tap, kick. Squat, tap, kick. Good. Now I know you guys warmed up because I am. All right, good. So you can also do this after a warm up just so that you have an idea. Okay, now, so that is good for that. Now, what I want to do is explain to you some of the different types of balls. Now, this is a uh, fitness gear type of ball. This is eight pounders, and it's kind of squishy, okay? So, you can use this for, you can get a good grip on it, and to be able to use it for a lot of different things, exercises, but some people just might not know how to use it. Well, I like to have fun with my fitness and vary it up and do different types of things, okay? But for today's purpose, we're going to just start with those abs. Keep the elbows nice and tight to the ribs there. Good. All right, so we are warming up the core muscles here. We're also toning and tightening them, okay? Now there are different 
uh, weights that we have. This is a six pounder, so this was actually really good, and I'm sure there's five pounders out there as well. Okay, to just warm up the abdominals here and get your rotation for your hips. Nice and easy. You can bring the elbows up for your twist, and then you can twist and stop. Back to the center, twist and stop back to the center. Okay, now also, also your pushing hands, like if you're gonna push somebody away, you're gonna go forward. You're gonna go forward, here you go. Forward, like you're gonna pass to somebody. It's just that your hands would be in a pushing motion this way, okay? Instead of this way when you're holding on to the ball. But, so what we're gonna do for here is just rotate the hands rotate the arms good now you want to keep that those arms nice and steady so you're gonna hold it out for a split second and then back good these are really good training tool for variation like I said it stimulates the different muscle groups and that's what you want especially if you've had to hit a plateau Okay, so for something like this as well, remember how we did with the elbows nice and tight? Of course, you could do that standing up and down, up, twist, twist, down, up, twist, twist. Get your own kind of little routine going on. All right, but in order to really work the, um, the obliques, okay, and really get a nice Maryland shape here, you're going to extend the arms, breathe out, keep the center in the center. Good. Nice. Now this is a little bit more challenging and this is only six pounds. Okay, so <laughs> uh, consider the weight of your ball, okay? Uh, when you're doing a lot of repetitions on stuff, you know, build your way up to the heavier weights if you want to. Alright, so now with this, now with the squishy one, um, you, this one you can actually put in between your knees here and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. This really helps those glutes because you're lifting up on the glutes and your inner thighs. All right, now if you don't have a squishy one, you can use a regular one too, but this is just more friendly to your skin, okay, because it squishes and it's not hard to where it's gonna maybe, uh, hopefully you won't leave a bruise, but you'll know it's there right good nice job okay so other thing that you could do is grab onto it uh, I'm gonna use the the smaller one here okay hold on let's as a 10 pounder all right what I want to use is we'll go ahead and use the bigger ball okay but we're gonna work those lower legs a little bit more you're gonna lean back Okay, on that chair and lift, lift, and kind of do a crunch in the middle here. There you go. Again, squeezing, squeezing the inner thighs here, squeezing the feet into the ball, and bounce and lift. Really works those lower abs there, engages the thigh muscles, your quads, okay, and your glutes. So we're really working on the core muscles. All right, nice job. Okay, so now also, if you're going to be using two hands, this one is a uh, 10 pounder and it's a little bit smaller. But I also have a 10 pounder here. All right, that's bigger. Okay, depending on, you know, if I want a more concentrated, smaller area, you know, to work that, yes, then go ahead and use the smaller uh size but you can also use the bigger size for a little bit more uh control okay all right so with this one i'm going to lift this up and you're going to keep those elbows straight up and extend and breathe out so breathe in here breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out now what are you doing with that lower body Okay, yes, you could do a squat with the squeeze. Squat, squeeze, and lift those arms up. Good, so that way you get a total body. A little bit of a cardio going on here, working those legs, arms, abs, and glutes. 
Good. Nice job. Okay, so with the motions that we have learned so far, okay, from here, okay, somebody's coming at you, your hands, okay, are together, even if you happen to have your hands handcuffed uh, or zip tied or, uh, or even tied with some sort of string or something like that, uh, cloth, whatever, uh, for in the case of an abduction or uh, an attempted kidnapping or whatever the case may be, okay? Hands, okay, together. And so the motion that we did with that weight, okay, and the weighted ball was going up. So for this particular motion, right, was we're gonna do come up, slam down right on top of the nose, okay? So you could also get your fist for your hammer fist. Just double up hammer fist, double up and strike, double up and strike, double up and strike, double up and strike. And of course, if your hands are not bound, that's even better because then you can use them as better weapons, more weapons, okay? So, but still, the motion would be the same. Single, single, double, double. Ready? Single, single, double, double. Ready? Single, single, double, double. Now let's add it with a lift here, okay? So we're gonna add that with the lift on the squat. Here we go, ready. So we're gonna do a single, single. Now on the double, we're gonna come up twice with the squat, okay, with the strike. Here we go, single, single, up, strike, strike. Good, ready, single, single, up, strike, strike. Again, ready, single, single, strike, strike on the double, ready, single, single, strike, strike. Good. All right. So that's uh, your your move for the day for that one. Okay. So after we do the single strike, single strike, double up on this one. Remember, we did our front kick from the the um, sitting position. So when we come up, kick right up, kick. So you're bouncing up to your feet on the kick with this one. Okay. So. After you come down with the double strike, okay, up with the kick, come down, and strike and kick again, all right? So we're gonna strike and kick at the same time because that's really gonna mess them up. They won't know what hit them. If they, even if they see this coming and they block or guard or whatever, then you got the kick at the same time to distract them in the privates, okay? So let's try that one. Let's start with the single strike. Single, single. Now as we come up on the double, kick it, come back down, kick it. Good, here we go. Single, single, come up, strike, strike. Good, single, single. Here we go, up, up. Good, single, single, strike it, strike it. Good, again, single. Single, strike, kick, strike, kick. Good, nice job, okay. Now, the other motion that we did, we're gonna wrap it up with this guy here, is our side to side motion, okay? You can actually use the bigger stability ball with this one too. It just all depends what you wanna do with your weights. And if you're a beginner at this, I definitely recommend starting off lower, like I said, and work your way up to more of the uh, little bit heavier weights to increase your muscle tone and strength because women typically are not as strong as men, except this woman is, okay, because I do power lifting, um, as you might have seen my 100 my pound bar barbell back there, um, that I do heavier weights a couple of times a week just to keep that metabolism up, uh, to burn more uh, fat, um, to have my resting rate burn a lot more by doing some weights, okay? Plus, I like the way that um, my body performs being a little bit stronger, muscular, um, not like manly muscular, but just tone and cut. And 
at my age, you know, or as we age, I should say, your your muscles lose the toneness. They they lose the the, um, the bounce back, the elasticity. It starts to just go downhill. So if you don't use it, you lose it. That's <laughs> my motto. <laughs> All right, and that includes that's uh, practice. So that's why it's important to practice to keep your reflexes up, to keep your energy level up, to sleep better at night after you exercise, to even out your blood sugar, um, de-stress, and also feel confident and strong uh, because you feel when you feel good, you look good. When you look good, you feel good, and you just carry yourself in a different way that's going to come across in a different demeanor to somebody who might be looking for a victim. So you are not a victim, so don't look like one and don't act like one, okay? Take control over yourself. So with the big stability ball here, okay, we're going to remember we did the side to side. We did it with the weighted one, which was a little bit less range of motion here, okay, which is fine. And then remember we did also the... Uh, Hammers, the hammer strikes, good. All right, okay. So with this particular one, with that motion going side to side, okay, this is gonna be um, our side hammer fist, okay? Um, you can also use the back fist, which we've done, going side to side, side to side, striking, okay? But again, just coming up, strike, bounce, strike, bounce, strike, Coming up, getting that rotation on the hips, torso, boom, there you go. So that is the striking motion on the twisting of the torso. It's coming across, you're striking hands on the outside, okay? Striking hand on the outside with your back fist. Striking hand on the outside with your back fist, boom. So let's twist and let's turn that hand just a little bit more. We're going to do the hammer fist with the bottom part of your fist here. It's strong, it's powerful, and but where are you going to go with it, right? So, where's the target? All right, so your target could be basically anywhere where it's open. If we're going side to side with it, okay, you got to find and see what is, what's the target area? Ears, temples. We already hit the nose or the top of the head with the hammer fist here, right? One, two, or double hammer fist, right? And then we kick them in the groin or kick them in the shin, wherever you find a target. Okay, now from there, you're going to do your side hammer fist, coming across, side hammer fist to the temple, which will ring their bell, okay? If, they're, if you're coming across this way, you can also go into the throat area. Okay, just smash, smash the, uh, the uh, cord there, the vocal cord. Okay, now, please, disclaimer here, disclaimer. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Do not do this unless your life is in imminent danger because you can get sued for damages and hospitals and whatever happens, okay? So please remember this but um, that you're not doing this to horse around, you're not doing this to, to horse play or just, uh, you know, uh, for something very minimal, okay? If uh, somebody just pushes you, you're not gonna slam them in the throat, okay? So you gotta make sure the punishment should fit the crime, if, if that makes any sense, okay? So you got your levels of threats, okay? so. At this particular level of threat, I'm not playing around because if they're coming at me with an intent to do me harm, to uh, assault me, uh, or to uh, have attempted battery or battery on me, okay, which means putting their hands on me and uh, wanting to hurt me, then of course I'm going to uh, pull out what I can, what I can use with the minimal, the least amount of harm to them, but yet effective enough for you to get away, because remember, the point is to get away, okay, and not to stay there and fight, so please keep that in mind, okay, but our combo today then, okay, 
So you can do your side hammer fist, side hammer fist. So let's do those, okay? So you're coming up, side hammer fist to the temple. Bring the other one around. Side hammer fist to the temple as you're turning the body. So strike, 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 strike. Good, okay. So now we're gonna add that on, okay? So let's just go for the double hammer fist. Ready, up, twice. Okay, we're going to add the kick, so kick, kick, then here you go, single strike, but you know what, you could do the double as well, double hammer fist, double hammer fist, like you're swinging a bat, and maybe you happen to have one, I don't know, okay, but it's the same type of motion, boom, boom, okay, using those uh, abs, that's why it, we are connecting the fitness, okay, with the self-protection. you got to be fit, okay? Boom! To kick it! To kick some behind. Good, okay. So here we go. Up, kick, down, up, kick, then strike, strike. Okay, that's our moves today. Ready? Here we go. So one, sorry, we got to add the kick. So up, kick, up, kick, Strike and strike. Here we go. Up, kick, up, kick, strike and strike. We're gonna do eight of these, ready? So one, two, and three, and four. Ready, one, two, and three, and four. Ready, one, two, and three, and four. If you can do it without this, that's fine too. I just like to vary it up a little bit. All right, here we go, four more, ready. So one, two, and one, and two. And up, kick, up, kick, strike, and strike. Ready, up, kick, up, kick, strike, strike. And then what do we do? Run, okay, here we go. All right, let me fix my chair here. Let's do two more, ready? Up, up, strike, strike, ready? Up, up, strike, strike. Okay, good job. All right, so, like I said, we, uh, we were gonna work on the core, which we did for the twist, 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 and the up, down, up, down. Now, for this one with the chair, all right, you do, did a great job, by the way. We're gonna go ahead and lean back. Again, engaging the core muscles, the lower abs especially too. And you're gonna do some butterflies, or not butterflies, but flutter kicks, excuse me. You can hold on, or to really engage the abs, keep the hands out to the side, or else you can grab behind of your chair, you know, the back of your chair for a little bit better balance. Okay, if you don't have a lot of balance on your ball, then you need to blow it up with some more air. Give it some hot air, okay? <laughs> Which a lot of us might be full of. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so that's a really good one. Um, you can also do your opposite, 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 knee and elbow. Now don't pull on the neck here, okay? Hands are off to the side, keeping the neck straight and crisscrossing the shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. You really dig in a lot deeper into this exercise with the abs. Nice job, okay. And then last one that we do, um, okay, excuse me, let's move this guy here. Okay, so anytime that you do a core exercise, you definitely want to stretch it out a little bit. So with this one, just go ahead and get down on your knees, okay? And just kind of roll the ball out, do a, a backward bend here, just slightly, nothing crazy. Exhale, squeeze those glutes, good. And then roll it forward into your child's pose, a variation of your child's pose. Good, now if you have bad knees, go ahead and place a towel or a mat. Most likely that's what we do with the mats. 
Um, okay, so last one for your core, okay, is we're going to do a pass off between the legs and the arms, okay? You might not be able to see, but there we go. Okay, so you pass off. Here, let me get some room here. There you go. You pass off from your arms to your legs. They meet in the middle. Bounce it up. But you want to try to get the abs to engage here. Good. Now, uh, your, your stability balls may have different sizes, okay, which is fine. You know, get the size that best suits you. Good, okay, so you can do those as well. Next thing, what you can do with your, your crunches, is you're gonna stick it underneath your legs and then you're gonna meet the elbows and knees together. Exhale, in the center. Good, today was my ab day. <laughs> so I'm sharing some of my exercises with you. Good job, okay, now to stretch that out, you go into somewhat of a bridge, straighten out the legs, and your abs are nice and straight here. Your weight is on your shoulder, not your neck. Good, nice job, and bring it down. Okay, there's a couple more that we could do, but for time's sake, I think that's enough for us today. Okay, so that way you can still get your fitness in if you have um, a little bit of time. You can do just a few short moves, short uh, and sweet, um, and, and work that out. So this one, like I said, this is a 10 pounder here. This one is your eight pounder, it's squishy, squishy, squishy. And it's got some um, bumps on it to help with some massaging some of your pressure points as well. So this is always nice to have. Okay, two. Um, now, if you wanted to do be a little bit more challenged with this one, okay, you can always come up with that as well with your crunches and and then also side to side. If you come up, okay, up side to side and then back down. To me, I think it's a just a little bit easier to come up and then side side and then back down up over your head coming up side side and then back down now just for a point a point to remember here is not flat back down okay roll the back down roll it up from your tailbone through your spine okay so keep that point of posture with that and then of course you can go with the the bigger size if you have partners things like that these guys are great um, these actually bounce, so you come down with the squat and then bring it back up. So squat down, okay, good, just like that, okay. And then of course you could come do your twist, twist, bounce, twist, twist, up, over, down, bounce, all right, that kind of thing, okay. So it's real easy to kind of take take it and make it your own um you know but remember some of the moves like i said just to connect it with uh your self-protection moves okay so when you're looking at it that way like the different strikes okay coming across coming across double boom boom okay um and then of course your bounce kick bounce kick it really helps to strengthen your leg muscles for those powerful kicks um, that you're going to do okay all right well thank you so much for joining me i am master hope you have just been to the fitness protection connection program and uh practice okay will help uh make you prepared all right not paranoid but also don't put yourself in situations that are going to be potentially dangerous okay but at least you know that you will be prepared and that you have the knowledge and guess what knowledge is what power all right keeping it real and be safe